Hey guys, Heather with Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Um, I'm throwing together a quick casserole, so I thought I would share it with you guys. I found a recipe that I kind of thought looked good and then I adapted it. It was like a side dish, but I'm going to adapt some things to make it a meal. So the first thing I did, I have a ton of yellow squash to use. I literally, I think I've harvested like close to 40. I've given a bunch away. I still have a ton, so don't tell my kids, but everything I'm making this week has squash in it. So in case you didn't know, zucchini and yellow squash can be used interchangeably. Um, same amount, same taste. They're just a different color. So if you have a bunch of these, you can make like any recipe that has zucchini in it, zucchini bread, zucchini brownies, whatever, and you can substitute squash for that. So anyway, I took one about this size. It's about a pound and I diced it up. I just made them um, chunky little dices about this big and I sauteed them with an onion. So I cut up a small onion um, and I sauteed them in two tablespoons of butter just until the vegetables got soft. I would say probably about 10 minutes or so to that. I am going to throw in, I shredded half of a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to throw that in the pan. I'm going to throw in a can of cream of chicken soup. Now, the recipe that I found called for cream of mushroom. Um, I added this chicken to it, so I'm using cream of chicken soup. Um, I think that my kids will like that better. Um, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, so... Use whatever you want. Cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever you like, use that. Then the recipe also called for one cup of sour cream. However, I'm healthing it up a little. So I am using one cup of plain Greek yogurt. You'll hear me say it over and over again, I love the boost of protein. So we have shredded chicken in here. Greek yogurt gives it a nice boost of protein as well. I mean, at least more than sour cream. So also to this pan, I am going to add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Mine is not just shredded, it is Fiesta blend. Fisher loves that kind, so we use it in just about anything. It has some cheddar in it. Again, you can use whatever kind of shredded cheese is your favorite. So I'm just mixing that all together. So again, a diced squash, cut up onion, sauteed in two tablespoons of butter. Um, mixing in a can of cream of chicken soup, a cup of plain Greek yogurt, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Now I have this um, herb stuffing mix. You could use chicken stuffing mix or pork stuffing mix or whatever kind of stuffing mix you have or you like. I'm going to add about half of that bag. I'm gonna shake it up so the herbs just aren't all on the bottom. But I'm going to add about half of that bag right into my pan. And I'm just gonna stir that all together. So the original recipe I found for this was just like a side dish of squash and stuffing, but I added in the shredded chicken so that it makes it a whole meal. And hopefully my family likes it. It is the first time we're trying this recipe, so we'll see. So once that's all mixed together, I'm just going to throw it. I have my greased casserole dish. I'm going to throw that all in here. So if you wanted to leave out the chicken, it probably would make a great side dish to whatever kind of main dish you were having. But I'm going to try to make a whole meal out of it. Who doesn't love one dish casseroles, right? And 
And because I am apparently super low on iron, I'm going to steam some broccoli and have that as a side. And whoever else in my family wants some can have some, but I'm definitely doing that. So the last step to this is that we're going to take the other half of that stuffing mix. We're going to mix it with half of a cup of melted butter and we're going to sprinkle that over the top. So give me a second to throw that together and I will be right back. Okay, so I just mixed the other half of the box of stuffing with a half a cup of melted butter, and I am just using my hands to kind of sprinkle that over the top. That'll give it a nice little crunch on the top. And then we are going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. That's it the whole thing. It took me, I don't know, 15 minutes to throw this together and then cook it for 30 and we're ready to eat. I fully expect my 16 year old son when he gets home from football practice to use this as a side dish and eat some leftover pork loin that we had last night. If you scroll through and look for one of my other videos about the peach pork loin, hmm, to die for. Last night I actually cooked the applewood smoked pork loin without peaches because that's the way he likes it. He doesn't care for the peaches with it. I think the peaches with it are amazing. But anyway, watch that video because if you haven't had it yet, you're missing out. It's delightful. So for him, this will probably be a side dish and the pork will be his main dish. But for the rest of us, I think this is going to be our whole meal with a little side of broccoli for me because it's high in iron. So that's it. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if you like it. Have a great night. Um, be sure to like and follow Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Thanks. Bye-bye.